Hi, this is Mrs. Rosevere from PS11, and today we're going to talk about subtraction with regrouping using the strategy of expanded form. Expanded form allows you to see the value of each digit in a number, which is really helpful when you need to regroup. So I'm going to go ahead now and expand this number out. We call this first number in the subtraction equation the minuend. Okay, so now I'm going to expand this number. So 2,254. The value of the first digit 2 in the thousands place is 2 thousands, or 2,000. The value of the digit 2 in hundreds place is 200. The value of the 5 in the tens place is worth 5 tens, so that's 50. And the value of the digit 4 that's in the ones place is 4 ones, so it's worth 4. Now I'm going to expand out our second number, which is called the subtrahend. So I'm going to write 1,326. Okay, and again, this is the subtrahend. That's this number. Okay, now let's expand this one out. The value of the digit 1 in the thousands place is 1,000. I'm going to put a subtraction sign here because we're subtracting. The value of the digit 3 in the hundreds place is 300. The value of the 2 in the tens place, it's worth 210, so that's 20. And, oopsies, the value of the digit 6 in the ones place is 6 ones. So now I've expanded my numbers and I'm going to subtract. And seeing the numbers actually expanded out and seeing their values helps me because I understand what I'm doing when I have to borrow. Alright, so I'm going to start in the ones place right here. Let's look at the column. 4 minus 6. Hmm. Well, 6 ones is larger than 4 ones. So right now in mathematics, I'm not going to be able to take that away. So what I need to do is borrow. When I borrow, I need to go to the column to the left. So we were in the ones place. We're going to look at the tens place now at the 50. Well, I can borrow from 50. I can borrow 10 actually. So I'm going to take the 50 cross it out and take 10 away. So 50 minus 10 is 40. And I'm going to give this 10 to the ones place. So 10 plus the 4 that is already there will give me 14. That's why people write the 1 in front of the number. It doesn't magically appear. It's because you're actually adding a 10 there. So now I can do 14 minus 6 because 14 is larger than 6 and I'll get 8. Great. Didn't mean to rhyme, but we're going to keep going. Now we're going to look at the tens column. We have 40 minus 20. I can do that because 20 is smaller than 40. So 40 minus 20 is 20. All right, let's keep moving. Now we're in the hundreds place. We're the hundreds column. 200 minus 300. Well, I can't do that because 300 is larger than 200, so we're going to have to borrow again. I'm going to go to the column to the left of the hundreds place, which is the thousands place right here. I can borrow from 2,000. In fact, I'm going to take 1,000 away. So 2,000 minus 1,000 equals 1,000. I'm going to add the 1,000 over here. 1,000 plus the 200 that's already there will give me 1,200. Okay. Now I'm going to subtract 1,200 minus 300, and that will give me 900. Okay, now let's look at the thousands place. 1,000 minus 1,000, well that gives me zero, that's nothing. I could write the zero here if it's helpful, I don't have to. Now that we've subtracted, I'm going to take these numbers and add them together, being careful to line them up properly in their place value. 900 plus 20 plus 8 will give me 928. So, I think this is my answer. However, I'm going to check my work. I can take the difference, which is 928, and add it to the subtrahend. And when I add the difference to the subtrahend, it should give me our first number here, the minuend. So if we get that number, then we did it correctly. So let's check it out. 6 plus 8 is 14. 
2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 more is 5. 3 plus 9 is 12. So put the 2 here, regroup, and then 2. 2,254. This matches what the menu end was, so our answer is correct. The answer to this problem is 928. This video showed you how to subtract with regrouping using expanded form. I hope it was helpful.